Mark Bronson. How are you? Good to see you, man. Good Everything you. all right? Yeah, good. Look, man, I got to get the fanboy questions out of the way. You work with so many legends. You've helped create so much phenomenal music. You know, you mentioned Amy, uh, Adele, Lady Gaga. Uh, you had Q-Tip on a song. Is it a dream sometimes? Is it surreal sometimes? Well, when I started off, I was never a prodigy at any instrument. So there was never any guarantee that I was going to make it in music. I loved music. I was fanatical about it. I interned at Rolling Stone magazine when I was 12, 13, 14 years old in the summers. Wow, I didn't know that. I, I went to school. I thought I, merci. I thought I wanted to study journalism. I was like, if I can't play music, I want to write about it. I just need to be around it. Busting my ass for 10 years, I ended up making a career in music. But it's crazy when I think of, you know, the people who I, who I love and grew up with and that I've got to work with quite a few of them. By the way, it keeps flashing over there. This is, this is the vintage one you brought today. This is a piece of art that I wear, essentially. When I would go to Paris a bit, there were these guys, Daft Punk, Extended Family, like all the cool guys that always had this watch. And I'd be like, what is that? And I, I don't think I could even pronounce Aldemar Piguet at the time they said it, you know? Like, uh, uh, and especially the way someone in Paris kind of says it in a, in a way that makes you feel stupid if you try and repeat it back to them. I said, Aldemar Piguet, hey, come on. Like, you know, so. I ended up tracking one down. I started to look online and I realized it's a little dangerous looking for watches online. So I found this great dealer, my friend Vrushka, and she yeah. helped me find it. I remember the first time I went in, she was like, I, I, I got your watch. And I went in and it was like this, you know, one of those moments that she like opened the box. It was like, oh, <laughs> like the heavens like opened. And it's just, it's, it's beautiful. Being in the factory, I really noticed that the attention to detail in this combination of analog instruments and these soulful maestros who, who make these things. I mean, it was, it's so similar to what we do in the studio with our heritage and the sense of dedication and crowd. I agree, man. I think there are a lot of parallels. I think that's why we really fall in so closely with, with you, with others, from the creative pursuits. Yeah. So, Mark, it's been a while now with AP. Mm -hmm. Things are coalescing in a really cool way. We want to do more together. How do you feel about it? Let's do it. Let's do it, man.